The term Standard Social Science Model SSSM was first introduced by John Tooby and Leda Cosmides in the 1992 edited volume The Adapted Mind. They used SSSM as a reference to social science philosophies related to the blank slate, relativism, social constructionism, and cultural determinism. They argue that those philosophies, capsulized within SSSM, formed the dominant theoretical paradigm in the development of the social sciences during the 20th century. According to their proposed SSSM paradigm, the mind is a general purpose cognitive device shaped almost entirely by culture. After establishing SSSM, Tooby and Cosmides make a case for replacing SSSM with the Integrated Model IM, also known as the Integrated Causal Model ICM, which melds cultural and biological theories for the development of the mind. Supporters of SSSM include those who feel the term was conceived as a point of argument in support of ICM specifically and evolutionary psychology in general. Topic. Alleged proponents Steven Pinker names several prominent scientists as proponents of the standard social science model, including Franz Boas, Margaret Mead, B. F. Skinner, Richard Lewontin, John Money, and Stephen J. Gould. Topic. Alternative theoretical paradigm, the integrated model The authors of The Adapted Mind have argued that the SSSM is now out of date and that a progressive model for the social sciences requires evolutionarily informed models of nature-nurture interactionism, grounded in the computational theory of mind. Tooby and Cosmides refer to this new model as the integrated model IM. Tooby and Cosmides provide several comparisons between the SSSM and the IM, including the following. Topic. Criticisms Richardson 2007 argues that, as proponents of evolutionary psychology EP, evolutionary psychologists developed the SSSM as a rhetorical technique, the basic move is evident in Cosmides and Tooby's most aggressive brief for evolutionary psychology. They want us to accept a dichotomy between what they call the standard social science model SSSM and the integrated causal model ICM they favor it offers a false dichotomy between a manifestly untenable view and their own Wallace 2010 has also suggested the SSSM to be a false dichotomy and claims that scientists in the EP tradition wildly overstate the influence and longevity of what they call the standard social science model essentially, behaviorism of human cognition." Jeffrey Sampson argues that the SSSM is based on a straw man. He views Pinker's claim that the SSSM has been the dominant theoretical paradigm in the social sciences since the 1920s as "...completely untenable." In his argument, Sampson cites British education policies in the 20th century that were guided by social scientists and which were based on the belief that children had inbuilt talents and needs. Thus, he challenges Pinker's assertion that the view of the mind among all social scientists is a tabula rasa. Moreover, Sampson only conditionally agrees that the scientists Pinker associates with the SSSM, such as Skinner, Watson, and Mead, were influential, stating, "...to identify them as responsible for the general tone of intellectual life for 80 years seems comical." Similarly, Neil Levy appears to concur with Sampson's straw man thesis regarding the conception of the SSSM, against which evolutionary psychologists direct much of their criticism. Levy writes, No one not even Skinner and his followers has ever believed in the blank slate of Pinker's title. Hilary Rose has criticized Tooby and Cosmeter's arbitrary exclusion of economics and political science from their SSSM model, which Rose argues is, "...rather like excluding physiology and biochemistry from an account of the life sciences." 
She also states that Tubi and Cosmides have publicly indicted sociologists and anthropologists of inappropriate separatist behavior towards other academic disciplines while ignoring their newer efforts that demonstrate the complete opposite. Rose notes how sociologists and anthropologists have many new developments that involve study of the natural sciences and technology. Furthermore, Rose suggests that Tubi and Cosmita's characterization of scientists like Gould, Lewontin, Stephen Rose and Leon Kamen as SSSM adherents is based on an inaccurate reading of works like The Mismeasure of Man and Not in Our Genes, two books that have explored the interplay between biology and the environment. Simon Hampton 2004 contends that evolutionary psychologists' account of the SSSM misses the debate on the existence of psychological instincts in the early part of the 20th century. He argues, psychological and behavioral thinkers have for long periods been immersed in the implications of Darwinism. It is plainly and factually incorrect for evolutionary psychology to deny this. And it is disingenuous to downplay it. Evolutionary psychologists who use the term standard social science model and rhetorical equivalents such as the neo behaviorist tradition and the tabula rasa view undermine their own much vaunted rigor. <laughs> 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 